Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to this wonderful event. Friends and family, welcome to the public launch of the Forward in Faith, the Campaign for Concordia. I am uh, Kurt Krieger, the interim president, and as interim, you don't have to wear a tie. So, so there you go. Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, this is a special night for Concordia University uh, because tonight we do launch the public phase of Forward in Faith, our $85 million comprehensive campaign. Uh, for several years, uh, Forward in Faith, a campaign for Concordia, has been in a, what we call the quiet phase. But tonight we make public this $85 million campaign and a little later we will announce our fundraising progress to date. Many stories in the Bible require an unrelenting faith. Our Concordia story started with one building, five faculty, 36 students, and a bold vision, not only to expand the campus, but to equip generations of students for God's kingdom. For over 40 years, Concordia has been committed to giving our students the best, distinctively Lutheran liberal arts experience possible. And we've prepared students for a wide range of professions and vocations. As we embark on our Forward in Faith campaign, the biggest, boldest, and most transformational campaign in Concordia's history, we have already begun to build new facilities, strengthen academic resources, sustain top-notch co-curricular programs, increase scholarship support, and provide for a lasting legacy for Concordia's endowment. With your faithful support, we will continue in our commitment to transform the lives of our students and help develop them to be wise, honorable, and cultivated citizens. We have come a long way, but have a long way to go. Join us as we shape the future of Concordia University, Irvine, and move forward in faith. Help us build strength for today and hope for tomorrow. It's a privilege to speak with you this evening. I am in my ninth year teaching at Concordia University. I am a lifelong Lutheran who has been singing and playing in worship since I was in elementary school. The mission of Concordia resonates strongly with me. The university is a place that welcomes and encourages the integration of faith and learning. I love to work with inquisitive, creative, artistic students, many of whom have chosen Concordia because this is a place that nurtures faith as well as learning. I appreciate that my faculty colleagues value supporting critical thinking, writing, and speaking skills through a liberal arts curriculum that helps students to develop a broad and integrated understanding of the world God loves. Thanks to many generous gifts, the Music, Worship, and Theology building is becoming a reality before our eyes. The building has already become a symbol of the bright future of Concordia University. Thank you for blessing the work of our hands through your prayers and financial support. Thank you for your dedication to God's work through Concordia University. Good evening and thank you for spending your time here as we walk forward in faith together. I can't do that without investing myself, and gratefully employing the investments of others, gratefully enjoying the investments of those who build buildings like the one over here, where my office and classes will be very soon. But it's more than that too, of course. It's nice to see that, the tip of the iceberg for the Forward and Faith campaign, but it's hard to see anything without lights like on a practice field, 
And that's why the Forward in Faith campaign also includes uh, locker rooms and, and lights and athletic enhancements so that one student out of every three in my Old Testament classes and in my Latin classes, in my Greek classes, in my ancient history classes, one out of three of all of my honors cohorts, my scholar athletes, can see their day open up so that they can tackle athletic commitments without missing early evenings for practice while there's still sunlight. I praise God who said, let there be light. That promise keeps getting fulfilled even by the one who said, let light shine in the darkness on a practice field. <laughs> with your help, with your generosity, with your gifts. My name is McKenna Brand, and I'm a student, senior, as he said, studying theatre here at Concordia. And no, I don't have a British accent. But if you come see She Stoops to Conquer, November 2nd through 11th, you will hear me use this accent throughout the show. <laughs> anyway, I grew up in Loveland, Colorado, and always dreamed of attending, amen, Colorado. <laughs> A Christian university, but each one I looked at was far too expensive for myself and my family to be able to afford. My younger sister, who is actually a student here as well and is here this evening, Kaylin Brand, came across Concordia when she was in seventh grade and said, hey, McKenna, maybe you should look into this university. And I looked into it and immediately looked at tuition costs because that's what I began to do with universities and immediately began to get discouraged because I said, nope, that is just too far out of range for me, and I began to wonder if college was actually in the plan for me. But my parents encouraged me to call CUI, and I'm very thankful that they did. I shared my situation, and immediately the admissions staff um, began to look into things, started connecting me with professors. I had multiple phone calls with professors before I ever stepped foot on this campus. I didn't actually come to Concordia to visit at all before I moved out here. My first time stepping onto campus was move-in day, and God just blessed me immensely in that. Within two months, the counselors had come up with enough money and scholarship that I was able to close the financial gap that would allow me to attend Concordia. Every semester, it still has been a financial stretch for me to continue going here, but by the grace of God and donors like all of you that are here tonight, I'm able to continue on the path that he has set for me. And it's because of generosity of alumni and donors like you that I am inspired to find ways to give back. Outside of my academics, I personally find joy by giving back in leading tours to prospective students, working with university services to continue caring for and advancing our university's campus, and by sharing my testimony about the commitment that Concordia has to each and every student here to continue living lives of learning, service, and leadership. So tonight, I'm really here to say thank you to all of you. I would not be here if it was not for the financial support and spiritual support that you all provide me. You all have shown me what it means to be a family in Christ, and I thank you for supporting your fellow brothers and sisters in this journey. Thank you. Forward in Faith, the campaign for Concordia can help us claim our rightful spot in the competitive education marketplace. Campaigns rally staff, faculty, board members, alumni, volunteers, and last but not least, donors to become ambassadors for this special school up here on the hill. 
We want Concordia University to be valued and respected and more well-known throughout our community, our region, and the world. Dollars and cents are important, but it also makes sense to let others celebrate and rejoice with us in where we have been, where we are today, and where we will go with God's blessings. Let's move forward in faith tonight as we demonstrate our commitment to Lutheran Christian higher education and celebrate this milestone in history with you, our donors and friends. You heard President Krieger announce our goal. It's worth repeating. $85 million between July 2013 and December 2020. I am pleased to report that we are well on our way and we will reveal just how much we have raised very soon. Suffice it to say, we are doing quite well. We have had a tremendous outpouring of support from donors and friends, alumni, faculty, and staff. We have come now to a special, very special moment in the evening. It's not even in the program, and to some it will come as a surprise. I would like to ask Mike and Karen Borland and Barbara Mansky, wife of Charles Mansky, to come forward with President Krieger. Barbara, it was your beloved Chuck who faithfully served as founding president. He was the right man at the right time. He had the vision and fortitude that helped turn this dry and dusty hill into Christ College, now Concordia University. Those five founding faculty, 36 students, and one building were the mustard seed of Concordia. What faith and courage they must have had as they envisioned a thriving campus filled with students. I know you rejoice with us when you look up at this hill and see what God has done and continues to accomplish through Concordia University. Chuck's commitment to the Great Commission and his drive and determination inspired our earliest founders, our pace setters, faculty, staff, and students. And one of those students who caught his vision was Karen Hildenbrand Borland, class of 1985. The Music, Worship, and Theology building being erected next door embodies our unwavering commitment as a university dedicated to the Great Commission. It will mold and shape the musical talents of our students, build upon the theological foundations of our university, and help us to express worship in powerful ways. It is in many respects a continuation of Chuck's vision and Karen and Mike's passions. We would not be here today if it were not for our founding president, Charles Mansky. The new Music, Worship, and Theology building would not be on the verge of reality if it were not for the generosity of Karen and Mike Borland. Therefore, it is only appropriate that a few weeks ago, the Board of Regents, with the endorsement of the Board of Trustees, adopted a resolution changing the name of the Music, Worship, and Theology building. With heartfelt thanks, we are pleased to announce that this incredible new building will, from this point forward, be known as the Borland Mansky Center. With God's steady hand guiding it, Concordia's future is bright. That's why we are personally committed to giving students the best Concordia experience. As you have heard, the Forward in Faith campaign with building new facilities, grow our endowment, strengthen academic resources, and give more hope to deserving students through scholarships. The vision is bold to transform not only the campus, but also its students and God's kingdom. We ask for your prayers over the next two years as we endeavor to raise $85 million. We ask for your support. We ask for your help sharing our vision to the hundreds, not thousands, of friends and donors who could not join us this evening. Join us as we shape the future of Concordia University Irvine as we move forward in faith.
All night, we have teased you with facts and figures. The question remains, just how much money have we raised towards our $85 million goal? Paul and I don't even know the exact amount. I wish we did. We are excited to find out. Let's watch and see and celebrate our progress. So there you have it. We are off and running, or maybe I should say soaring, since that's what eagles do. And soaring seems appropriate for a public launch. Either way, thanks to your support and prayers, we are confidently moving forward in faith towards our $85 million goal and beyond. How much more can be accomplished through God's blessings and generous hearts? Summer and winter and spring